Hello everybody, my name is John the Bopper, and no I'm not sick before you ask, and that's not what made me want to do this video. I had the idea when I remembered that I was going to get a shot today, so later on today after I finish making this video I'm going to go and get a shot for some disease or whatever, it's probably not that important if I don't remember the name of it. But anyways, I while I was thinking about the shot, getting while I was remembering getting the shot and everything, I realized, yo, why why do humans get why didn't humans have to ever get sick? There should be no point in getting a shot because humans should not get sick. I mean, great great job whatever made us. You made your trees and your plants, you made your animals, and then you make your humans, and then you make things to hurt the humans. I'd like I mean that seems pretty counterintuitive. I mean, I'd like to think that that whatever made us, if it has any emotion whatsoever, likes us. And I don't want to live in a world where Spy Kids was right. So I'm going to live in my world where Spy Kids wasn't right. I kind of like to think that it went down something like this. Uh, uh, uh. I am, insert God that you believe in here. And I, I love the humans. They're, they're great. I, I love my little baby boys and baby girls and baby, uh, toilets. But, uh. You know what? I, I think I, I think that they're having too much fun. You know, I, I gotta limit this a little bit. I'm just gonna create hurtful viruses in order to put them in their place. So basically, the equivalent of a father spanking their child. So what's why? I mean, why why are there viruses out there and deadly diseases like cancer and ligma? That that can that can hurt us and stuff. What what was the point in making that? And that's not even the only cause of getting sick. Like just a couple of days ago, I was coming home from Pennsylvania in the car, and while we were driving around, I was looking down at my Switch, playing my video games, and then all of a sudden, I feel this queasiness in my stomach, and I have to open up the window and feel a 14 degree Fahrenheit wind blowing in my face. That's the only way it was gonna feel better. So why you would think that? Our, our ancestors were people who ran around and at, at, at like fast speeds in order to try and catch up with fast predators and kill them for food. And yet here we are, feeling queasy from a car drive. You would think that that's kind of backwards, right? And more important, well, I mean, I guess it's a, I guess it's a good thing that for like the viral infections and all that stuff that we got, we got medicines and liquid medicines and of course vaccines which hey there's got to be a better way to put it to put the medicine inside your body than injection right because that kind of hurts i mean sure it's like a little pinch but it's an inconvenient little pinch i predict that in the future in order to keep people from being afraid of shots in order to make shots less painful etc etc there's gonna be something that evaporates the the medicine into your skin into the bloodstream i'm calling it now um, like this video in the year 2035, if I'm correct. I guess I should be grateful that for all the viral infections and all sorts of other stuff that gets us sick, that, that isn't motion related or some other thing related, we should be grateful that we have medicines and liquid medicines and then there's vaccines but honestly that that's a that's got there's got to be a better way to get the medicine inside of your body than injection right i mean either i mean either way i never entirely understood the idea of dead cells of of whatever is hurting you will be fought off by by the white blood cells and then they'll recognize it next time yeah sure i, I guess but, I mean, there's got to be an easier way, right? I mean, that, that stuff kind of hurts. I mean, it's a pinch, of course, but w why would we... It's an inconvenient one. I predict that in the future, we will have technology that can vaporize the medicine through our skin and into our bloodstream. It'll keep people from being afraid of shots and needles. It'll, it'll be less painful and less inconvenient. I'm calling it, like this video, in 2035, if I'm correct. But, uh, but honestly, PSA here, I can't believe I actually have to say this, but parents, 
Please, vaccinate your children. Alright, I think I'm done here. I, I got everything out. Anyways, um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment if you want, and always remember, do a subscribe below.